Welcome to London College of Music, University of West London. The Veterans Showcase event um, emerged from a knowledge exchange project. So when I was introduced to the world of veterans arts, I could see the powerful impact of that. And I really wanted to be able to help them to platform their work, to show people what this work is about and how important it is, but also how important creative activity is for people who have served their country and who uh, may have all kinds of complex um, struggles in their transition to civilian life. My vision would be that there would be, like the Addiction Recovery Arts Network, a veterans network of some sort. So hopefully, who knows, watch this space uh, after this lovely event. Hopefully all sorts of new connections and collaborations will come out of that. We are here now um, just after completing a six week uh, course with veterans. We saw that the veterans had done their um, stand up comedy course. Somebody suggested when they found out we were from a music college, maybe we could try something out with music. And so finding uh, a day like this when they can all come together, uh, share some of the practice and then actually network and, and chat about that and get to know one another. Um, I want to start, um, um, if, first off, by uh, asking Maria Simpson to come to the, uh, to the stage and um, to sing for us. I've been, I've done 13 years service in the Royal Logistic Corps. I've done three tours of Iraq and Afghanistan and the army is not my friend. If you wanna be somebody, if you wanna go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. Hear what it's me. Right, we're with a, a production company called Hats Off for Bootsy and we're going to be performing two uh, scenes from that production. It was as if the sky had silently kissed the earth. <gasps> grand plans? Oh no, the vulnerability of grand plans, what? But I think this idea of having you know, a one day big event and getting a lot of people that are doing amazing work in such, you know, different and varying and interesting ways is absolutely brilliant, you know, and this idea where we're all sat in the room and we can talk to each other, we can share ideas. Wow, how do you follow such an amazing couple of groups of talented performers? I've really enjoyed today. I think it's really great to see so many creative people, both organisations and veterans, all in the same room patching some plans and yeah what a great day so inspiring really privileged and uh, appreciative to be asked to come along and, and to share a little bit of our practice and to just see so many amazing inspiring creative projects demonstrating their work this is how our work begins we get in a space and we connect it's a wonderful event to bring all these people together and you see how much you've got in common, as well as the range of stuff that's going on. But Dr. Cathy Sloan has proved several years ago about this um, kindness in recovery. So when I served in the parachute regiment, uh, I got a combat injury and I got PTSD, but Sibby Street was a disaster. Uh, and I was eventually picked up by somebody who took me to St. Pancras Hospital and I did therapy for PTSD. So we formed On Parade, and out of On Parade, we, we thought, there's so many funny stories, we've got to do some stand-up comedy. And so we went to Keith Palmer at the London Comedy School. It's been fantastic. And more importantly, the diverse range of arts activities that's going on around the country. More of this, please. And so, uh, I'd like to introduce one of our lads, Fred Ding-a-Ding -ding Bell. <laughs> Good afternoon. How is everybody? Yeah, yeah. Good, fantastic. Everyone so, stone cold sober? Yep. Yeah. Yes, good. Well, at least it's two in the afternoon. Absolutely peak conditions. <laughs> you know, when I tell people 
that I am uh, a veteran, sometimes they seem a bit surprised. Uh, like, veteran? Huh. I think he means vegan. <laughs> <laughs> It's just been so lovely to see so many people come together who are clearly all about the same thing. We're all about how the arts um, can be just so useful within the military community. And it's just been so nice to see different angles on that and also just have that classic military humour be a part of the day as well. And we're going to be working in our tables and then building together to tell a story as a whole. Lovely. Uh, part one completed. Fire extinguisher and thumb. <laughs> um, and the fire extinguisher. Is that what going on the board? Who's having a breakdown? <laughs> Sue, <laughs> Sue, <laughs> can you listen to Land one, take it away, please. <laughs> okay, they lived in a land far, far away that was famous for its fire extinguishers. <laughs> From that moment on, they spent their days close together. They made a home in an improvised fire station built by young children. Finally, pull the pin on their relationship in a backstreet chippy in Bradford. And but yes, thank you so much. And um, yeah, that's it for that. An opportunity like this for our networking and for to get all, all our gang fused in with everybody else and all the different opportunities through the creative world and arts and gaming and all sorts. It's just knowing people. I guess. This is the sort of like gives a platform where we can meet people and crack on with it and now we're up. We are passionate about supporting creativity in the military. And I have to say, it's not often that we're given a platform to actively demonstrate the talents within the military community. So thank you, Leon, and thank you, Kathy, in her absence, for the opportunity. This is a real change in tone, so just be forewarned. I'm up here to tell you a little bit about my year, last year, and what an exceptional year it was for me. It's here again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Shit happens tonight, don't you? We have been running a, um, a music production course and a playing in a band course over the last six weeks was with some of our veterans, um, I think. We have a little video to show you. I'm a veteran, come out with an injury, I've been playing music for years and I had a hiatus where I couldn't use my right arm for about three years, so I stopped playing guitar completely and I've played live piano for about seven years. Up, Just doing the mu music course for veterans and um, essentially been learning how to finally play guitar. These people can do improvisation, comedy and they can do music. Uh, that's, uh, that's a great thing to find out. It's good. <laughs> It is quarter past four, exactly on the dot. Wow. Um, to, I can't tell you the satisfaction. Not just to see you to finish your time, but it's been great. It's been absolutely perfect and. Yeah, no notes from me. <laughs> no notes from me also. I think any opportunity when you're working in a space to bring the people who work in that space together and to foster those conversations is really important and really special.